In today's video we're going to be creating a Bluetooth connection between our computer and our Arduino microcontroller which allows us to send commands and receive data from our Arduino without wires and control it with Python code. Most robotic projects make use of a wireless connection, whether that be via Wi-Fi, radio, or Bluetooth. Bluetooth is a fairly short-range connection that works up to around 10 meters. To create a Bluetooth connection, we will need a few components. In this video I will be using the HC05 wireless Bluetooth module. These are fairly inexpensive and allow us to connect to microcontrollers without the use of wires. On the HC05 there are 6 pins, we will only be using the middle 4 pins. In order to use Python on our Arduino, we will need to upload the Pi format a sketch to it. So, plug your Arduino into the computer, open the ID, select the correct COM port connection. Then go to Examples, Firmata and Standard Firmata. We will need to change a setting in this script so that it works with our HC05. Press Ctrl and F to open a search box and search for Firmata.begin. Then change the board rate to 9600. This is because the HC05 module operates at a board rate of 9600. Once this is done, Upload the sketch to your Arduino. You can now close the IDE and disconnect the Arduino. When we connect our Arduino to our computer via USB cable, the USB cable actually contains four wires inside of it. One wire carries a 5 volt current through it. Another is used as the ground wire. Another is used to send data. And the fourth wire is used to receive data. We know that when we connect the USB cable to our Arduino, we can upload scripts or send commands to it using the serial connection. The serial connection runs through the two wires in the USB cable that send and receive data. On our Arduino, these two wires utilize the 0 and 1 pins which are also labeled as RX and TX. The RX is the pin that receives data from the USB cable and the TX is the pin that transmits data from it. In the same way that our USB cable has four wires inside. The HC05 module has four middle pins that serve a similar function. It has a RX, a TX, a ground, and a VCC pin which stands for volts. These pins are used to send and receive data via Bluetooth as well as power the HC05 module and ground it. The HC05 module operates on 3.3 volts whereas the Arduino board outputs 5 volts. So we need to add a few resistors in order to convert the 5 volts into around 3 volts so that the HC05 module doesn't get damaged. As we also don't want to connect our Arduino via USB cable anymore, we also need to use a battery to power it. Let's now take a look at how to wire the Bluetooth connection. First place the HC05 module near the center of your breadboard. The pins will go directly into the board. Then add a male to male jumper wire on the same row as the RX pin on the HC05 module. This is the second pin from the left. The RX pin is the pin that we will need to limit the voltage to. Now add a 1000 ohm resistor which bridges the gap between the partition of the breadboard. Here I've placed one end on the closest column to the partition and the second end a few columns away on the same row. Your breadboard may be different to mine and not have a partition, but that's fine. Just place the resistor at a similar relative location. Then connect the free end of the male jumper wire to the same row underneath the resistor. Now on the unconnected end of the resistor, add another male to male jumper wire that connects to the TX pin, otherwise known as pin 1 of the Arduino. RX connects to TX as one sends data and the other receives it. Now on the same row as the male to male jumper wire, underneath the 1000 ohm resistor, at a 2000 ohm resistor that connects to the ground bus of the breadboard. The two resistors now convert 5 volts from the Arduino down to 3 volts, which is a suitable range for the HC05 module to prevent it from damage. Now connect the TX pin on the HC05 module to the RX pin, otherwise known as pin 0 of the Arduino. This connection doesn't require a resistor. Now connect the ground pin of the Arduino to the ground bus of the breadboard and connect the 5 volts pin of the Arduino to the positive bus of the breadboard. Then, 
connect the ground pin of the HC05 module to the ground bus of the breadboard. And finally, connect the VCC pin of the HC05 module to the positive bus of the breadboard. All that's left to do is to connect the battery to our Arduino. We should now see a flashing light on our HC05 module, which shows that the Bluetooth is searching for a device to connect to. Let's now take a look at how to connect to this module from our computer. In the Windows search bar, type Bluetooth and select the Bluetooth settings, then make sure that Bluetooth is turned on. If you don't have this option, then your computer may not have Bluetooth available. In this case, you may have to purchase a USB to Bluetooth converter. This allows your computer to send and receive Bluetooth. The one I'm using is listed as Bluetooth 4.0. This is backwards compatible with Bluetooth 2.0 which is what the HC05 module uses. You can plug this into one of your COM ports. Then go back into the settings. Once Bluetooth is turned on, click on Add Bluetooth or Other Devices. Then select Add Bluetooth Device. This will scan for any available devices. Here we can see that it has found the HC05 module. Select it from the list. It will ask you for a password. The default password is 1234. It may also be 0000. Type in the password and press connect. This will pair the HC05 module to your computer. To see what COM port the connection is using, in the Windows search bar, search for control panel and click it. Then in the search bar search for Bluetooth, then click on change Bluetooth settings. Navigate to the COM ports tab. Here we will see what COM ports are in use. We need to note the outgoing COM port. Here it is listed as COM5. If the COM port isn't listed, you can click Add and manually add it. Now that we know which COM port to connect to, open Python's idle and create a new file and save it. Here I've called my script HC05 connection. Let's now define our connection to the HC05 module. First, from the PyFirmata library import Arduino, then create a variable called board that will connect to COM5 which is our paired Bluetooth connection. If we now run the code, we shouldn't get any errors. And the light on our HC05 should go from rapid flashing to flashing every other second. That's great, our connection is working so far. Now that we've established a connection, let's actually do something with it. I'm going to use an LED to make sure our send and receive works correctly. So. Firstly, unplug the battery from the Arduino. We now need two mail-to-mail -mail jumper wires, a 220 ohm resistor, and an LED. Now create a connection with a mail-to-mail -mail jumper wire from the ground bus to a new row on your breadboard. Then connect the LED with the negative side, which is the shortest side of the LED, to the same row as the jumper wire. Then add a 220 ohm resistor with one end on the same row as the positive side of the LED which is the side with the longest length, and the other side a few rows away from it. Then add another male to male jumper cable connecting pin 12 to the same row as the unconnected end of the 220 ohm resistor. This completes the circuit. Now back in Python's idle. Import time which can be used if you want to add pauses between commands and import tkinter as tk which we can use to create a simple user interface. Now create a new variable called pin 12 which will connect to the digital pin of our Arduino. We need to set the pin as O for output. Now let's set up the user interface window by declaring window as .tk, .tk. Set the background color to black, the state to zoom so that it opens full screen, and the title to HC05 connection. Finish the user interface statements by typing a window main loop at the bottom of the code. Let's then create two functions, one that turns the LED on by using the dot write method and setting the value to 1, and another function that turns the LED off by setting its value to 0. Let's also create on and off buttons to display on our user interface to control when the functions get called. Copy and paste the first button and rename as button 2. Change the X location to 300 and change the text to off. Also change the command to run the light off function. We've now completed the script. Reattach the battery to the Arduino to power it. Then run the code. Now when we press either the on or off buttons. 
The LED will light up or turn off based on the corresponding button press. Here we can see that the HC05 module receives the command from our PC via Bluetooth and relays to the Arduino via the serial pins 1 and 0 and then, using the Pi Firmata script, is able to interpret the serial commands and update the program on our board to do whatever our Python script tells it to do. All of this is done wirelessly over Bluetooth. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of how to connect to your Arduino and program it through Python over a wireless connection. Using this fundamental knowledge we can start looking at more advanced robotic projects that don't rely on a USB connection. But for now, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.